Hey everyone, this is Dan from Slocum Themes and the team at Press This, and we're bringing you a Press This Hands-On where we actually show you how to create an email subscribe form for your WordPress website using Gravity Forms, and also how our themes make it easier than ever to add a Gravity, or gravity Form to the website and make it look just like your website so people can kind of click right on the subscribe button, subscribe to a newsletter, and it will look just like your site. It's very cool stuff. Uh, we're actually gonna be running this on our Modern Business theme here. And what we're going to do is we're going to show you how you can actually install it, get it to work. It's really, really cool stuff. And it's very, very easy to do. You can do it small, big, whatever you need to do. So this is our just our initial page. And we're going to, this is the front page of the site. And we're going to make, give it a little bit more flair. We're going to add a call to action to this. So what I'm going to do is we're actually going to go to Gravity Forms. Now you do have to buy the Gravity Forms plugin. It's the plugin we recommend for creating newsletter subscribe buttons because it taps into a lot of those email campaign softwares like Constant Contact, like MailChimp, things of that nature. You do have to purchase it, but it's well worth the purchase uh, if you're using it for business and you want to get leads. It's a fantastic software. One last note I do have to make is you will have to set up your um, email campaign to run with Gravity Forms. So once you have the add-on, you actually have to tap into your account. Uh, services like Constant Contact and services like MailChimp won't just allow you to tap in immediately. There is There are different rules. And our article that we're going to have I'll go alongside with this shortly after the video comes out is also going to go over how to set up MailChimp, which is our favorite email marketing software with uh, Gravity Forms, which is cool. But anyway, let's move on and create the form. So we're actually gonna start here. We're gonna create a form right here with Gravity Forms. This is of course after we've installed our plugin, entered the license key. Gra uh, Gravity Forms will take you through this. So let's just name this subscribe for now. And literally all you have to do to create the actual box is go to advanced fields and click email. That's literally it. We now have a box, an email subscribe form created. You are going to have to tap into MailChimp or whatever in the settings. So let's actually go there right now. Oops. Oops. Oh, I forgot to update it as well. Something you guys should do as well. Update your form. Make sure you always update. All right. So here's literally the way our themes work um, to get it to look like your website. It's really, really neat stuff. Um, so I'm gonna to go to CSS class name here, and I'm literally gonna write MC hyphen gravity. That's it, that's all I have to do. Now our form is actually going to in, in, inherit whatever you know font styles, color styles our website has. And I'm gonna show you how that looks later. It's really, really cool actually. And we're actually gonna update form settings here. Again, this is also the step where over here you'd have a settings form for um, your MailChimp uh, or your constant contact and you set it up that way. And there are different ways to do that depending on which one you use. Next thing we have to do is we actually have to navigate to the widget section. So the easiest way and another reason why we love Gravity Forms and I highly recommend it is because it has widgets that it comes with. So here's your widget, it's called Form. It's from the Gravity Forms widget. Now what's really cool about our themes is we have a front page slider and a front page section where you can drop content easily. So I can actually remove and add content at will, whatever I need to do. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a gravity form. Okay. I select the form I wanna use, which is gonna be the subscribe form. I'm actually gonna keep the title out of this and display the form title because I like the word subscribe here. Okay. You can even display the form subscription. And we're just gonna save that. Great. Now let's go here and let's refresh our page. Look at that. We have a big subscribe button right there. And of course you can add descriptions or whatever else you need to when you create that form in the settings and that will also populate here too. I wanna to quickly show you that we can actually take this. You can move it to the sidebar if we want, just like that. And there's your subscribe button on the sidebar, which is really cool. I like it on the front page though. Now, another thing that's really cool about this, just to show you the power of literally just entering MC Gravity with our themes, it's something we've coded in here, is if I go to the customizer, actually modify my primary color, 
and boom. There you go. It's changed the color of the subscribe box, just like that. It's really, really cool stuff. Let's do blue. Everybody likes blue. Okay. So there you go. There's some. And back to red. There you go. Save and publish. Additionally, we can also tap into our web fonts. So we can change the font type. So let's select this one, for example. And again, this is with our Modern Business Pro theme. And let's save our options here. There you go. The contact form has actually changed its text, or the form here has changed its text along with the rest of the site. It's really, really cool stuff, and it's a really, really great and easy way to create a contact form. Put it in your sidebar, put it in your front page. Again, you can tweak what the title says. You can tweak a description underneath where it says subscribe, and it'll show up a little smaller. You can tweak what where it says submit. It can say join, whatever you want it to say, connect, whatever you want it to say. It's really, really simple to use. And for a business trying to get out there, get going with an email campaign, it's a really, really simple solution. Again, this MC Gravity stuff works with all of our themes, so please check them out. SlocumThemes.com, home of the best WordPress themes um, and student plugins. Uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, if you need any more information, please subscribe to us on YouTube by hitting the big old red subscribe button at the top right of the screen there. You can also subscribe to us for these updates as they come out at SlocumThemes.com slash subscribe. Thank you so much.